Okay, guys. Welcome to the second session of the Google Cloud Study Jams. We welcome you all to this session where we'll be starting with the Google Cloud Skill Platform, Quick Labs, and an introduction to generative AI. So I'm sure uh, amongst you all, a lot of you have been enrolled into the Google Cloud Study campaign, which we and we rolled out the form on 30th, 31st September. Right, so and remaining of you joined us today just to have an idea about what we are doing to gain more knowledge. This year, we have two pathways, the Gen AI, Generative AI pathway, and the Google Cloud Computing Foundation, it's GCCF. So GCCF was there last time as well. This time, however, we have the Generative AI pathway which is added on. So this time, the Generative AI pathway is conducted as a game. It's an arcade game. For this pathway, I'm sure you guys got the mail. So in the mail for the Gen AI pathway, the thing is there are around uh, 300 to 400 campuses all around India that have that has been enrolled in this program. So imagine 300 campuses throughout India with around 150, 160 participants in each college. That's a lot of people, right? So they have made sure that not everyone can access it together. They have distributed us in two groups. I'm sure you would have read one, mile, one line in the mail that said, your campus has been allotted the week of 11 September. Yes. So we can only access this game in the week of 11th September. So please remember that that is basically next week. So start this Gen AI game next week. Do not start it until then. So, and how to start, there's a video they're showing on how to start. You can go to, the, go to the, through the video. It's not really hard. Just go with the video. Okay. So these are the few things everyone should know. Like I said, each week, each university has one week to access. So now there's another thing you should note accessing and um, completing are two different terms. Accessing is just in entering the website, putting in your special unique access code and starting doesn't mean you have to end it within that week. Okay, so next week, please, everyone, start the access process of it. Just enter the website, watch the video once, click on the link they have shared, and enter your unique access code. Your unique access was, code was already there in the mail. So just make sure you put the right access code, the Gen AI access code, not the other one. There are two access codes, okay? Next, are our university is allotted September 11th week. That is next week. Okay, so next week you can do it on September 11th also. Okay. Yeah, only access this part in that week. So if you're going to miss your week, it's going to close and then you will not be able to access this pathway. Basically, it means that you won't get the advantage of using this arcade game. So make sure you don't forget, even if you have an assignment, you have an exam, you have a quiz, no issues, just take five minutes, put in the access key, start your pathway and then go back to your life. OK, you can always come back and finish it later on, but start the access next week itself. Yeah, so the thing is, you can complete this pathway before 30th September 2023, 5 p.m. However, we advise you to complete it within next week itself. So you have like seven days, right, a week, so you can complete it in seven days. Just try to make sure there's not much of labs. It's just uh, around, um, you have around five labs, and each lab you have around maybe 10, 10 videos. They are like labs. You can go through the labs and finish it. Maybe 40 minutes each. Okay, it's not much time. We advise you to finish it off within next week because there are two pathways. This is the Gen AI pathway and we have the GCCF pathway. The GCCF pathway is bigger. The Gen AI pathway is smaller. So we advise you to complete this in one week and keep the remaining three weeks of this one month for the GCCF campaign. Okay, so these are little rules for you guys to make sure you don't make a mistake. It's to access the pathway with your registered Google account or Amrita ID. How many you guys have used Amrita ID, right? So make sure you access with that registra registered ID. Okay, please don't come back later saying I was not able to because you would have forgotten which ID it was. Just, just recall which ID it was. Just make sure you use the correct ID because if you're going to use the wrong ID and access the pathway with the access code, your whole account is going to get blocked and you will not be able to use the program. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, do not redeem the code on any other account. It has to be the registered one that you entered. So I'll, I'll access this in the allotted week. And okay. So this is another fact. Can you see this zero spots remaining here? It's in a red box. 
so there are chances that when your week starts and you enter you see this zero spots are remaining so in such cases just wait for a while maybe 3 4 hours or a day and check again there will be spots open so there's a limited amount they don't want the whole server to crash so they make sure that not everyone can access at the same time all right so please make sure that you are calm about it and just go about it in a steady pace okay now coming on to the gccf platform so now this pathway is conducted on a different platform than the gen ai one all right so for this you need a little more special instructions which was also in the mail so in case you forget anything i said you can go to your mail and just read through it again all right so to complete these labs you you have this platform called google cloud skills boost platform so in this platform you need this this concept of credits so these credits are usually bought by people for one usd however for you you guys are getting it for free on a monthly subscription that is this month that is the google cloud study jams so for this you need for the credits you have to do certain uh, rules you have to follow certain procedures so open the browser's incognito window and in your registered mail there'll be a link so copy that link and paste it on your incognito mode once you enter you have a unique access code asked so now go back to the mail and you'll find your unique access code so a very important thing your unique access code is just for you please don't give it to someone else because then your account will be blocked because his registered id is different all right everyone has their own unique code use that code yeah as, as soon as you enter your code you can see this box right and you will have i'm not a robot just tick on it and submit yeah after you click and submit then you have a sign in at the top at the top right okay i have not put a screenshot of that but there'll be a sign in on that page at the top right click on the sign in and enter your registered id that account that you used to register along with your password once you've signed in could you see your click on your account profile picture and once a drop down comes and you can see nine credits okay so just in case you don't see the nine credits you still see zero credits just refresh log out log in so once you see the nine credits immediately you can start with a tour of google cloud hands on labs so you can click on this these labs and it's all, it's almost a 30 minute lab but you guys have to spend at least 10 minutes even if you're done you clicked on all the right answers you went through you read everything in maybe 10 minutes you have to make sure you spend 10 minutes in that lab at least 10 minutes even though i've said 6 minutes here just keep a buffer of 5 minutes okay 10 to 11 minutes you complete just wait just let the lab load after 10 minutes you can submit all right once that process is done okay you can automatically you automatically get access to all the content for the campaign so once you watch that you're done with that lab and you click on your profile you can see monthly subscription which he saw an, an important thing to note complete all the processes in incognito itself don't go to your account just finish it in incognito it's easier to divide your account to your personal account and your this special account you created for this campaign okay once you get the monthly subscription you will have a, you'll have this tab called paths in that paths once you scroll down you will see this google cloud computing foundations the red box okay you have to scroll a bit for this it will not be just at the top just scroll a bit you'll find this and this is where you can start with the whole campaign okay yeah so important things about this campaign like i said for the gen ai you have to redeem it next week this campaign however you should redeem it before 11th september okay for that campaign it was from 11th september this is before 11th september because once it's 11th september there are high chances your account will be closed all right so redeem it before then do the process like i said put your unique key into that access code and watch the first do the first lab the hands on google cloud lab okay so yeah you can you have to complete this pathway it's a huge pathway there are around eight labs and each labs around maybe a day long and there are chances that the google cloud boost skill platform might close down sometimes so it's it's better you guys do it in a consistent basis and one important thing when you start the labs you cannot pause it so you have to complete it at a go and each labs are around 
an hour long so please don't start it and then you know submit it later on without completing it then you'll be losing out on that lab credit meaning you will not be successfully completing the program okay so uh, a small advice to all of you in case you have issues being consistent just make study groups you guys can you know if you're with your friends just maybe groups of 5 or 6 or maybe even 10 of you just have a teams meeting one day in the evening all of you join in and just sit and complete the labs consistently so this usually encourages people to finish stuff together all right yeah so the last day to complete this pathway is 2nd october you can complete it any time before 2nd october it's eight labs so it's not easy don't start last week you will not be able to complete start today maybe do one lab or maybe two three uh, two three labs in a week okay now if you have issues with the credits like you don't see the nine credits like i just said just wait for a few minutes refresh log out log in if you still don't see after 30 minutes you see this email id just write a mail to them write a mail to them from your registered account okay don't use any other account use your registered account If you want to note it down, or you send it in the group anyway. So if you want to note it down, you can. Okay, now coming on to the goodies. So you might be thinking, what do I get from completing the two pathways? Other than extensive knowledge and a chance to work on Google Cloud Platform, you will the, the every college. Okay, will be divided into tiers. The first tier that is gold. It'll be the students around eighty plus if they complete in each campus. so we have 163 registrations from our campus so if 80 plus are being able to complete both the pathways all the labs before 2nd october then we will be eligible to t-shirts bottles bags sticker sheets okay so we have an introduction to generative ai right now good afternoon people it's just going to be a discussion session where we discuss stuff we are not going to teach it's a peer to peer learning so we discuss so first we'll see the evolution of generative ai it started with uh, something called as the traditional programming wherein you have something like x you declare it y declare it and then you have output of it from the functions or packages or whatever you call it so that's how traditional programming started and then we went to wave of neural networks so what is neural network we basically train something and then you get things out of it a neural network is a method in artificial intelligence that teaches computer to process data in a way that is inspired by human brain it is a type of machine learning process where we use uh, something called as deep learning so one basic example or application of uh, neural network is uh, facial recognition where you train a machine maybe a phone on multiple faces uh, that it recognizes later on so that is one aspect of uh, neural network and then comes generative ai that we are going to read it right now generative ai enable users to quickly generate new content based on a variety of inputs inputs and outputs to those models can include text image sound animation 3d model or other types so how do we en uh, evaluate the basis of generative ai so generative ai can be evaluated on basis of quality how it works on basis of randomness which is basically like we have three uh, major uh, what do you call Para parameters uh, that we use for uh, this which is top p top k and uh, temperature where zero being the least uh, the most randomness and one being the least randomness so whenever we give a prompt it manifests itself into tokens so one word can be divided into multiple tokens multiple words can be divided into one token so as we can see in the screen we have something like welcome to google cloud study jam where we we divide it into tokens so and then those tokens are the things that can be understood by the already trained machine which is like processed and then we get the output of it so generative ai is basically of two parts one being the generative model and other being the large language model generative model an ai model that produces content including languages code image imagery music video so basically any other thing other than what we see in like human life 
is like generative model does. So basically, if you want a code, you ask chat GPT or anything for that instance. Uh, so it generates something and it gives to you the creative side of it. it that is a generative model and large level model is a machine learning model that are really good at understanding generative human language. Large refers to both size complexity of the neural network itself, as well as the size of data set it is trained on. So basically, if you are like saying hi to chat GPT, asking it some question, training it such, such a thing like a human being or making it work like a human being comes under the large language model. And it is a part of NLPs, which is natural language processing, wherein it can like uh, imagine you give a summary or a story or a poem for that matter to the language model. It like purifies it. It like gives the abstract or the summary, whatever it is to the model. So that's what a large language model does. So the culmination of both generative model and large language model is generative AI. So generative language models, examples are Lambda, Palm, GPT-3, Llama, et cetera, a lot more. And then let's see what large language model in more deeper way. ML algorithm that can recognize, predict, and generate human languages, pre-train on petabyte scale, which is like really, really huge. Data set resulting in large models with tens to billions of parameters. LLMs are normally pre-trained on large corpus of text followed by fine tuning of specific tasks. LLMs can also be called large models, including all type of data modularity and generative AI. Generative models can be used in many domains beyond text, image, including music generation, videos, etc. So basically, here we give a word, we give a sentence. Honesty is the best policy. Best. So LLMs basically like generate the next words of it. So it is trained in that way to generate something in human context. LLMs are designed to predict the next word in sequence. They are not required to be truthful. They can sometimes have a flaw in it. LLMs can generate plausible looking statements that are even irrelevant to what you want to have there. Hallucination can be one of the greatest uh, the defects of uh, LLMs. Okay, let's see classification of uh, large language model. So zero start learning is a machine language paradigm where model is trained, recognize or classify objects or con uh, concepts it has never seen during its training phase. So basically we don't give the information. We don't train the system with the information. Imagine we give the model say what it has four legs. It is a carnivorous. So when the user asks for a question to that, it it like recognizes it and it gives us the output. So that's what the zero sort model does. In few sorts, we generally give few examples of it before. There are like multiple few sorts. We have one sort, two sort, three sort, multiple of it. So those are like for this example, like we have Python print hello, but we give a simple example and like converting into JavaScript, like console.log.hello world. So we are giving it a syntax and we are asking it to give a harder problem. So that's what few sorts do. And dialogue is something that is also called as GPT, wherein we, uh, we converse with the model. So that's all about it. Now I want to talk a few things about uh, generative AI studio that we'll be working on. It is interactive with Tune and Deploy Foundation model. It is for creators, app developers, and AI practitioners. A simple UI for interacting with models, chat interface to interact with models, prompt gallery to explore sample use case, prompt design to tune models, tune models with your own data, a variety of tuning method, including uh, tuning with simple, text prompts, fine tuning, and tuning with human feedback, use model to production embedded into application by quickly generating and customizing API key uh, code or keys for the matter, plus multiple modularities, API available for text, image, code, and speeches. So that's, that comes to, uh, that is like end of my session for today. Uh, I'll pass it on to Shreya now.
thank you okay so one thing he forgot to mention in zero shot is how vague the question is write a poem about cricket so the cricket could be about the insect cricket it could be about the sport so the the model might not exactly know who you're talking which one you're talking about so the answer here is very vague you could be talking about the insect right so this is that's why it's called zero shot you don't give it examples before you just ask it directly however if it has read a lot of data it might the answer may vary every time okay so this is back to our gccf labs you have all these labs inside the gccf pathway there are around 8 of them and few of them are on data ai ml so i want to convey that so you guys can get started with the labs so for this week we would like you to get started with lab number 5 lab number 6 and lab number 2 so you get started with these labs this week finish them off it will not take much time if you need help there are uh, videos on youtube where they have done the lab already so just go through that and then maybe follow it all right so thank you so much for joining us guys